Okay, guys, so welcome back to Web Gaming Central, and uh, what I did was, um, let's see, uh, what, I made a promise to you guys that I would show you how to install and run the movies, the game, the movies, from developed by Lionhead Studios back in 2006, 2005, one of the two years, and uh, with if you're running Windows 7, you're going to have a problem running it right from the get-go. In fact, once you put in the CD and get the auto-run option, you click auto-run, you're going to have some problems. It's not going to really run for you well at all. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to get it going. Right now I have the ex movies expansion pack in my drive. So the thing that you need to know is that this process works exactly the same for the original game. So the movies, then the movies, um, stunts and effects. I have stunts and effects in here, but we're going to run through this. And guys, you have to follow me verbatim in order for it to work for the most part. Some people don't really have a problem. Uh, in every of these areas so let me just say it this way I already mentioned the first area that you're gonna come across if you bypass that with us just saying run it from the CD uh, you could either get the same problem or you can it might install for you but once you install it and try to run it then you're gonna start having more problems where the game either won't start up or it will start up but it, but it will crash on you after a while or probably once you get past the opening credits so let me show you guys exactly what to do let's jump right in what you want to do to begin, first of all, is uh, go into my computer. If you don't know how to do that, um, <laughs> I can <laughs> maybe I can do another video for that. But anyway, uh, go into my computer and then right-click wherever you, whatever your um, DVD drive is that's holding your CD, and go to open. Okay. Once you're in here, you're gonna look for setup. Once you get to setup, right-click that. Okay, and go down to properties, which you won't see on my screen because my little window that I created for this video is not there. But at the very last option in this drop down menu, you should say properties. Click on properties. I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. This dialog comes up here, and you're going to go to compatibility. Okay. And, and I already have the settings set up, but this is the very critical step, guys. If you skip this step, and like I say, if you're able to install the game without doing this part, uh, you'll install it okay, but then once you try to run it, most of you might run into a problem where you can't run it. Okay, so you're going to go to run this program as administrator. Make sure that is clicked. Also, make sure that run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP, Service Pack 3, or Service Pack 2 if you have it. If you don't have service, well, well, what I mean to say is, if you don't have Service Pack three, if you have Service Pack two, that's good. Um, but it, this is the way that I know it to run. If you want to try it under one of these other ones, feel free. It's perfectly fine. Whatever OS or operating system that it worked for for you before, you can pick that one, and I'm sure the same um, success can uh, be yours. Anyway, let's go ahead and click that. Once all those things are clicked, go ahead and click OK, and then now you can go ahead and double click on Setup and then go through the whole process the game should install perfectly fine for you at that point but now I'm gonna actually go to the next step and after you've installed the game okay so again make sure you follow me follow me verbatim or, or you know exactly and you're gonna go to your C drive or wherever you install the game and you're gonna go to program files 86 if you are um, running on 32 bit Windows 7 I also this also works for um, 64 bit so Windows 7 64 bit it works for that too because I my desktop computer which is the one that you see my videos on that's well uh, Windows 7 64 bit this is my laptop that I'm running on now this is 32 bit so that's how I know it works for both so when you get here guys you're gonna actually go down to Lionhead Studios load into that one not Kodak darn it um, yeah let's try that again uh, <laughs> Lionhead Studios and the movies. Now, here's the part that is up to you on how you know comfortable you feel using um, no CD or no DVD cracks. I always use that, and in this case, you might have to use it. So, this is the only thing that you may, depending on if you like to, you know, download third-party con or you know files and things like that. If you feel comfortable with that, if not, then don't do it. If you don't feel comfortable. But I can tell you that I don't have any problems, haven't had any problems <laughs> doing that. But what I'm alluding to, what I'd go to is um, Game Copy World. And it, don't worry, if you, I don't copy uh, games or steal games. I don't do that. I'm a full supporter because I want to be a developer. So I have a very soft spot in my heart for game developers and game companies who create content and would like to earn money from that. <laughs> so don't worry. But these uh, files are just exe um, 
replacement files so that you can run the game without having to have the CD in the drive. So I'm going to show you that right now. Let me just go ahead and clip to that website. One second. Okay, guys, so now uh, getting right to it. What you want to type in, go first go, First of all, go to Google and type in the movies, no CD. And right from the bat, the top option is going to be Game Copy World, the movie Star Maker Kit. Um, just click that link. <coughs> Pardon me. Been sneezing a lot lately. <coughs> and again. But you're going to get to Game Copy World, the website, and it's going to take you right to the file you need. <coughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, here we go. The, actually, the, it, depending on which one you have, if you have the original movies, you want to pick this one right here, the one that I have highlighted. Click that, and then um, in this case for me, I'm going to click, and if you have the stunts and effects, I should let you know too. You click the very top one here, and it'll drag you down to the file that you need. In this case, I'm going to actually drag up the screen so you can see it. This is the one that we want, the movie stunts and effects, English one. Then you click on the save this file. For you guys who are doing it with the regular one, go down a little bit more. And you see right here the movies English no DVD. So you click that, you get a dialogue pop up, and just wait a second for this thing to do what it does. Be a little patient, it comes. There we go, skip the ad, and there we go. Download it right from the mirror, and there you go, you should be able to get it without a problem. Um, save that to wherever you feel comfortable saving it to, um, then, un then open it up, and once you open it up, what you're gonna do is go to back well first of all copy that file um that you unlock and it's going to be pretty much this is going to say the movies se i'm um, going to copy that but before you okay actually let me take one step back before you copy it i recommend that you come to that place i told you about local disc c wherever your local disc is go to program files then go to lionhead studios Let's find it. Lionhead Studios LTD, uh, the movies. Copy this file or this exe and save it somewhere. You always want to have a backup of, of these whenever you do something like this. And then once you've done that, guys, go back and copy that file that you just downloaded, and then save it here and overwrite the original one here. Okay. Once you do that, double click on this and I'll show you. You're gonna get a dialog pop up, of course, that you know tells you this thing may not run right, so or it didn't or it closed improperly the last time. Yeah, whatever. And now we're gonna go right into the game. It works, of course. You're seeing a portion of it, if you're seeing anything actually. <laughs> um, but it works. Um, it works perfectly fine. Um, if you have any problems, I'll be monitoring the comment section for a while. Actually, I'm always monitoring the comment section, so. Um, at any point, I don't care if it's years down the road, I will see the message. So um, I'll make sure I get back to you to help you out as best I can. The game should run flawlessly at that point. So um, guys, don't forget to comment and let me know if, if, if it's working for you. I'm pretty sure it works because it worked for me. So um, uh, and if you have any questions about any phase of the process, let me know and I'll uh, be sure to help you out and address that. So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.